Whoa, YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing my old Lego. Like the really old Lego. From like the 80s and 90s. Here I have a set 669. It's. I rebuilt it since the instructions were there and it had all the pieces. And it also came with the one minifigure. Um, where is he? Ah, here. Um, the tops of the heads were different back then. I know you probably know that already. But they had to change it now. If a kid choked on it, it would be kind of like a straw so they could breathe since there's a hole on the top. They kind of changed that again now because, like, oh, you see here they did it differently. But they kind of changed that to the newer Lego, so it's, if a child chokes on it now, it doesn't have the hole for some reason. Um, now I also have some, like, Lego Batman I wanted to show. This is the Batman The Dark Knight from 2008. I only have the Batman and the Thug. The thug I took apart for a stop motion movie. And I have this marching band guy. You probably remember him from um, my Arkham origin videos. And also, I had guys like these getting beat up and stuff. I also have SpongeBob. He's not that special, but he's not that old. But I just think he's cool. I to show him. I also have Battle Damaged Batman. I just took the newer Arkham, I mean the newer Dark Knight one. Just took a spare cowl I had and cut it up. And I have his normal cowl somewhere here. There he is. But you probably remember him from my Arkham Origins video if you watched it. It's not a suggestion. I should. also have an old head for some reason. I guess the previous owners didn't really like the Lego. Decided to pull off the head. But everything else is in really excellent condition. For some reason, this was in here. That's not Lego. Uh, I have this old biker guy. I took off the head for Arkham Origins, too. Also, yeah. This thing took so long to build since the parts and the instructions aren't as clear. And you know the Simpsons minifigure packs and all the minifigure packs? How they advertise me, like the Simpsons other packs, like and they say all the figures you can get? They do that for the sets. And um, I got some pirates. Um, I got a knight. I have more, but since I just dumped the bucket on my bed, yeah. Also, the bucket was just full of spare parts, so I just built some random things just to see if the blocks still went together. They fit perfectly with na newer Lego. I found this. I guess there are more instructions lost. So, well, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I just wanted to show this off. I'm going to do more review videos soon. So, um, thanks for watching. And, um, we'll see you guys later. Bye, YouTube. Uh, oh, wait. Almost forgot. Um, I almost forgot. It came with this. Probably, like, how is that special? But back then... Lego was like, you see, back then Lego wasn't as, like, like, you know how you had to build Lego? Back then you didn't have to build as much because um, it had some already assembled parts, like the bigger sets. But now you have to. I'm surprised they make some sets for like 9 and up that are like, if you ever seen um, Metal Beard's ship from the Lego movie, that set? It looks impossible to build. And it, I don't have the set, but it is hard. I can just, well, a lot of, that set is cool since it has the double-decker cap. Well, uh, oh, sorry, I got carried away. 
Well, I'll do more reviews later, and I went on a trip, and I got a Spider-Man Lego set that didn't come out yet, the one with Sandman, and the one with Miles Morales. So, I'll probably post that. I don't really know if it came out yet. I haven't been to the Lego store in like a couple months. But, so, this is it.